Save your legs if you like. Ken Dingle. It's him. Joker, are you? Yeah. We should get on. What were you being a clown? You're right, Mum. Look, we're not going to let this cane get under our skin. Don't even mention his name. Yeah, well, hopefully he'll have a new one soon. The accused. Can we talk inside? I'm going to take your shoes off. I'm afraid it isn't policy. Then I'm afraid it isn't happening. We got a call from a Mr Jay Sharma yesterday. He's made a number of accusations against you. What a meanie. Made a little list, have you? Dear Santa, for Christmas... Rodney Blackstock, are you eavesdropping? Not at all. Just waiting for this to dry. And is it? Not quite. Some gloves keep my hands warm. And a shiny new bobble at the top of my head. That it? Dunno, it's your list. Tell you what I've written down there. Mr Sharma split up from his fiancée recently. She used to be my ex. Don't think he liked that. What the hell is going on now? I was just telling uh, PC... Feathers. Feathers? Seriously? <laughs> I was just telling Big Bird here about your mother and her newly ex-boyfriend and how jealous he can make a man do terrible things. Yeah, well, you should know. See, he's even got me on door to turn against me now. No, whatever I am is down to you. Come on. <sighs> Ken Dingle, I'm arresting you on suspicion of using threatening behaviour. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention one question, something which will later come to a line in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Garage is open, won't be long. You'll be a while. Yeah, don't count on it. Oh, uh, can we go the back road by the butty van? I had my breakfast this morning, I'm well starving. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So you've been avoiding me then? No. Well, you have been ignoring me texts. So, I've had a baby then. Yeah, I heard. But not from you. You know, you kind of expect your mate to tell you that in advance. I couldn't. Well, you could. Well, I could, but if you had a told Alex... That was once. Well, OK, but say you had, or Andy... I or... wouldn't. Or anybody else. And if Kane had found out that I hadn't... Well, you can hate me if you like, but I would rather that than the beating I would have got if he had found out. But in an ideal world, you wouldn't hate me either. So, phone box. Classic. I had him in the cemetery, actually. Ah, much better. What was it like? Dark. Giving birth. Plan on having kids of your own someday? Probably. That is what people do. Well, then I think it's best you don't know. Do you want to hammer that? Are you OK, too? We can do it yourself, then, can't you? Tea or coffee? Surprise me. That's your department. Can we watch something else except Enzo Benzo? In a minute. <laughs> Hey up, love. Do you want one? Oh, no time, love. I forgot my sandwiches. What are you doing here? Hi. Eh? We're looking after him. What's he doing here and all? Where's your mum? She's still in bed. No, she's not. She's here. And why aren't you at school? Did you take me? Sammy, couldn't you have done it for me? Eh? You told me we're on holiday. You disappeared sharpish last night. Well, I'd had a bit of a day, Lisa, hadn't I? Dad's been arrested. What for? Pick a reason, I'm sure it'll apply. Were you there? Just. All right, well, what did the cops say? We missed it. Yeah, we just saw him grinning like he'd won some sort of prize. Well, he won't be grinning when he gets charged with about nine different things. I'm sorry, Devs, I know he's your dad, but it needs sorting. Do you hear me arguing? Hey, no! Give me that back, you little... <laughs> wow. Get you in the living room. I wasn't sure you knew where it was. Fancy the change. I looked for you in the kitchen first. Didn't find you, obviously. Found this, though. 
exactly where I'd left it a week ago. You wait till I get hold of Rachel. She was meant to clean in there. She probably thought it was a test. And was it? Are you going to put it back on? I'd like to, at some point, when I can wear it without guessing what's going around in your head. Right, Mia's things are left in the office. Nicholas asked me to mention it. Wonders what you want to do with it all, so I said I would mention it no more. Thanks. Last thing you need is any more hassle, right? Right. OK. So, I've done what I said I would, so I'm going to go. OK. Are you OK? Relatively speaking. Relatively speaking. OK, I'll see you later. See you later. It's gone too far. Oh, no. <laughs> I've said that before, but this time, it really has. And I've said that before, I know. I know. Yeah, well, there's not a lot new to say where that piece of... where he's concerned. Where's Noah? Oh, outside. He keeps asking me when he's going to go home. He asks me about three times a minute, and I'm fast running out of excuses. You're going to be living here now? I don't know, Sammy. He has really messed things up. I'm sorry I couldn't stop him. Yeah, well, who can when he gets like that? And I'm sorry that once again we're being a pain in the backside. You're not, love. And I know things seem bad, but they will get better. Get worse before they do, though. And the police, they're just going through the motions. Nothing's going to stick, and he knows that! Yeah, but he's got to be careful. No, oh, since when has he done that? He's loving it now, though, isn't he? I've lost my fiance. I'm out of a home. He's enjoying himself far too much to drop all this. He has got me right where he wants me, and he knows that. It's the filth. Come in. No offence. Whatever it is, you better be quick, because I've got to get back to work. Would that be for Sharma and Sharma? <laughs> yeah, he's spying on me. I'm a police officer. I work things out. Is this about her, Ken? It is, sir. Well, I'm his father, so ask me what you like and I'll tell you what I know. Ah, oh, just in time for cuddles. Come here. Oh, get off. What, what happened? You escaped or something? Well, let me go. For all that? Oh, what? Well, all what you said to Jay's mum and whoever else. <sighs> it's just words, isn't it? I'm going to rip your face off. Doesn't mean I will. Doesn't mean I won't. What is wrong with you? Mum and Noah have lost their home. Phyllis. You're acting like you're proud of yourself. Don't be. It's pathetic. At bottom line, your mother has split up from her boyfriend, just like I said she would. Now, everyone can get on my case, but it's not like she hasn't got fault. <laughs> and don't do that again. I don't care who you are. So Priya's finally made it down the stairs. She's taking him shopping. What and does it is... take somebody to get locked up for more than ten minutes then, eh? What, what are they saying? Just hold on. Who is it? The police. Hey, maybe I should come around to your house and threaten your family then. Yeah? Take a few photos of your sleeping sister. Thank you. He understands our frustration. Which is nice. So what are they doing? Waving him goodbye as he walks out of there. What, they're letting him go? They already have done. But after everything is done... Yeah. He's got alibis for all of it. What, so that's it? End of? Seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah? He's got away with it. Thinks he has. I heard about you and Amy. And? I wish I could say I was shocked. I am, of course, revolted. Well, I don't like your art. Am I supposed to be impressed by your attitude? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Because impressing you is what I am all about. I don't think even you know what you're all about, Kate. Oh, blimey. A philosopher now, as well as an incontinent old spinster. Oi, that's enough! I'm sorry, Edna. It's not your fault. 
I am a believer in nurture over nature, but only when applied to humans. <laughs> That's enough! Get off! I don't need you apologising for me. Huh? Well, someone has to, the way you are. Oh, yeah, and what way is that, then? Well, not good, is it? Do you ever listen to yourself? Yeah, they have a lot of good ideas. Is that what that was? Huh? Threats, break-ins and all the rest of it. Yeah, you're right. You know what makes me feel even worse? The fact that you're such an angel. Well, I know where to draw the line. Yeah, so do I. It just happens to be a different place. Police were down earlier, asking about you. Help them out, did you? In the end, no. Had nothing useful to tell them. But if I had have had, I would have done. Yes. Says a lot about you, that, doesn't it, eh? It says a lot about what I think of you. Oh, ashamed, are we? Oh, yeah. It's getting sure we're all ashamed of ourselves. Sharing a name with you. <laughs> eh? You're turning us into outcasts. Oh, like we've ever belonged. Well, maybe not, but we're all stuck together. We stood up for one another. We looked out for our own. Yes! Yeah, well, my own is me. And how does all this help you? Make me feel good. And too well with the rest of us. I can't see what harm it's doing you. Well, that's because you're not thinking, boy! Yeah, maybe because I just don't care! Sorry, for, you know. Calling me a grass? Yeah. Shouting at me? Yes. Scaring me? But all of it. So? Huh? We meet again then? Just like that? If you want. No, I don't want. I've had a horrible time. Well, you and me both. Except yours was your own fault. In fact, so was mine. Cos I can be stupid secret and look what happened. A little baby was left to die. I don't understand why you're mad at me. Well, yeah, I understand a bit, right? But I wasn't thinking straight, I was scared. Well, don't you think the baby was? Well, I don't know. Yeah? Look, I thought he was dead. It was all so sudden and all I could think about was if Cain found out. I promised I wouldn't tell and I didn't. I know. Do you know why? Because you're nice. No, I'm not. I'm bad and I'm stupid. The reason I didn't tell is because you said you'd hurt the baby if I did. That's disgusting. It's just like Cain. I'm not like Cain, you know that. John. I'm nothing like Cain. Hiya. Sorry, I did knock on the front door. Oh, didn't get an answer, so you decided to come in anyway? Yeah, I suppose so. I passed Nicola on the drive and she said... It's fine. Is it a bad time? You're here. I am. <clears throat> right, I've got a leak upstairs. I don't know if a slate's come loose, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but basically, every time it rains, a bit comes in. A bit? Towel on the windowsill sorts it out. So it's not urgent? No, it's not urgent. But then again, it could get worse. Something I could deal with another time, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, but then you might be dealing with a ruined carpet and all. I'll take the gamble. Right. Is that what I think it is? It's stuff for the charity shop. Mia's stuff. It's going to be someone else's very soon. Is that a good idea? It's no use to me. It might be a comfort, eventually. Right, you're not sending me back outside without a cup of tea inside me, so kitchen this way, is it? Well, he didn't seem to give a damn. Yet he insulted Edna, you know. Didn't he? He'll be laughing the other side of his face once he's charged. Yeah, if he's charged. What's this about Kane? Oh, oh, arrested. You don't seem bothered. I am, but it's just not getting through to him. But it's not like it's new. Sorry. It's not like you're wrong. Oh, I could get used to these hours. Well, the finishing time. Yeah, definitely not the starting time. <laughs> you're young or something, are you? Oh, nothing, Dad. I always dreamed of a job where I'd be up before the birds. There you go, folks. Cheers. Can't 
she organised a shift so we don't have to see her. Easy. Can I finish? I'm going to start on it. Busy then. The usual. Hey, was Hannah when I left? Upset. Next question. That's all I've got. Well, we'll be having our drinks then. I'll enjoy. I can you've earned them. Thank you. I think I've earned this. Oh, you certainly need it. Hmm, not the kind of week to endure too often. <laughs> well, realistically, it could only happen every nine months, couldn't it? Hmm, aye, aye. Bottoms up. And put some lead in your pencil, John. Not that you've any use for it. Leave it. Don't give him the satisfaction, Dad. Oi. Behave, please. Always. How are you out? I was desperate to see you, so I escaped. Right then, I'm in the mood to celebrate. You got any champagne? Well, if we do, I'm not serving it to you. Same goes for anything else you want. Used to be a lot more accommodating than this. Have a word with your staff, Chad. I will, when they need it. Why don't you go? <laughs> I've only just got here. Uh, I'll have a pint of lager, please. That's more my style. You have no style. Well, I must have something. If you serve him, I am leaving and never coming back. Probably best, addictive alcohol. You got any nuts? Do you want some, John? Yeah, you lost yours. You'll lose something in a minute, mate. Dad, let it go. Do us a favour, will you? Stop being a tool. Is this drink coming? If it does, I'm leaving too. And it also won't be back. And me. And me. And me. I'm sorry. You don't work here. Shut up! Babe, this is really stupid, you and me being like this. We know who to blame for that. Shut up. I'll tell you something stupid. A system where a walking pile of garbage like your ex can be back on the streets within half a day of being taken in. He's just the right side of madness to be clever enough to cover his tracks. What are you doing here? Because I spend half my time making up lies to a little boy who misses you and wonders why he can't come and see you. And his mum misses you too, by the way. Come on, who is actually getting off on us being like this? You? I don't think so. Me? Definitely not. He might be. You know what? I'm not, actually. Well, then that just leaves Kane, I reckon. Is that what you want? That's what's happened. You know what I want? Or rather, don't. Him breathing the same air as my mum. Finally, Nikhil, something we can actually agree on. There's a reason to leave. <laughs> this is supposed to bother me, is it? All of you giving it the shoulder to shoulder thing? Hands up if you know why you're even doing this. <laughs> you want to get to it? You've got a feel full of sheep up there. Might I suggest you go somewhere where you are more welcome? Like there is anywhere. <sighs> it's where I'm supposed to say I'm sorry, is it? Eh? Get down on my knees. Well, I would, but, uh, new kecks. <laughs> and glass houses are what? Slag. Junkie. Con man. Tax evader. Did her husband's brother. Rapist for a son. <laughs> now, you haven't done anything as such, John. Except be a drip who can't satisfy his wife or control his daughter. You leave her alone. Oh, I did. Wouldn't have minded, would you, though? Ask your mum. She'll fill you in on what you missed out on. Are you not going to tell him to leave? No. She's going to serve me my drink now, aren't you? Still a no. This isn't over. You don't get to decide that. With Kane, I mean, not me and you. He came to see me yesterday, you know. He kissed me. Well, he tried to. He told me he loved me. What did you tell him? It ended in off. 
He's played the gangster. He got what he wanted. And he will keep wanting more. Well, he can get it from someone else. And if it sounds cowardly, I don't care. What I do care about is my family. Yeah, and I used to be your family. No. You never quite made it. Did you lie when you told me you loved me? What's the point in this? Did you? No. So you still do? Because it doesn't just go. Charity. We're over. On the say-so of someone that we both hate? This is mad! And he won't get what he wants from someone else. What? He's gonna keep on at you and me. <laughs> What's left to do? Well, you'd have to ask him. Or wait and find out. Do you not see where we stand in this? He has won the match and now he's about to start taunting the other team. And that is when it gets really nasty. It's nasty enough. No, babe, it's not. Not for him. Gee, listen to me. I love you and I know you love me, despite the mess we're in. I don't want anything bad to happen, but it will if we don't stop him. Don't you think I want to? But stop him how? Whatever it takes. Well, we're back in Emmerdale in half an hour. <laughs>